All right. Yeah. Well, thank you guys very much for, for coming. Uh, my name is Jonathan Hosteller. I'm with TH Fabrication. Chris Kennel is in the tractor right there. So he and I started, uh, started TH Fabrication uh, in 2019, and it's developed what did not start as cultivation, but it developed that through a custom project. And so um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to talk... I'm going to talk pretty fast because there's a lot of exciting things to share about this tool. And Ten minutes is not very, very long, but I, I know you guys want to see it obviously running. Um, this is called our Swinging Spider. So just show of hands because I'm, I'm curious. Um, how many have heard of a or used a Lilliston cultivator before? Okay. So it is a very unique cultivator. Um, and uh, we're kind of trying to bring it back to life, right? So we have a patent on the adjustability of it. What you see here, we've never shown this to anybody before. This is our actuator uh, add-on uh, for a quick adjust, and we're going to show this, showcase this. I'm, this is normally going to be mounted in the tractor, um, but I'm going to walk alongside. And we're going to change that as we're going. Um, but the Lilliston, or our swinging spider cultivator, is uh, it's a very unique cultivator in that um, the way it moves dirt and interacts with the soil. So every other cultivator that you see. That I can think of, maybe a cutaway disc would be slightly different, but uh, is, is a different configuration of sweeps and shanks. There are advantages to that, but there are also disadvantages in certain circumstances, one being wetter conditions, um, uh, speed can be an issue, or simply the fact we're going to start by cutting away, or what we say, pulling away from the row. Uh, that's a unique thing. We, we can go high speed with this cultivator. Uh, average, when we're pulling away, I would say with a, a normal setup of maybe running RTK, uh, getting relatively close to the row. So we have a, a swing arm on this, and this adjusts how close we can get to the row. And then we have, well, on this one, it's an actuator, but normally on our base model, we have a, a handle that you manually turn. There's a little worm gear inside of here and adjust the angle. And so that would, would change the aggressiveness of how that spider cuts into the dirt and it throws it in whichever direction you want. So the first demo, we're just gonna go to the first flag here. I'm gonna set this up as pulling away from the row. Now, we don't have RTK on this and everything, so I'm not gonna try to get as close as we can. I'm just, I have this set in whole location number three. They're all labeled here. Now these spiders are going straight, if you can tell. And so normally, if we're gonna set this up, we go manually and turn a crank we change the angle to pitch it to how we want that dirt to flow or pull away from the road. Okay? Now obviously this is our debut of our, our actuator option, so all of this is going to be controlled right here. So it's at zero degrees right now and I'm just going to change it. We're going to run it about, we'll set it at 25 degrees. And so you'll just see everything dynamically change. Everything's mirrored and uh, and it's now it's pulling away from the row on each, on each section. Okay? So I'm going to set it back to zero, and then as Chris starts driving, I'll get it more aggressive, and you'll kind of see what the angle does as the spiders change as we're moving. So this can be done all on the fly, um, and so whether you're pulling away or throwing in, you can kind of feather dirt back in. Quick, do a, a change at the first flag, and then we'll flip it around so you can see what it does. All right, so. I have to set it zero right now, so we'll see as he goes. It's not going to hardly do anything uh, because the spiders are running straight. There you go. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Alright, so I'll just change this as he's going. You'll see the how the flow changes. Okay, so a couple things I want to point out. Um, one thing is penetration. You guys will notice that right away whether we're doing the plow demonstration over there or here. So we do have an airbag system that we can put on this or a simple down pressure spring that can make a tremendous difference. There's two things I've ever heard of really negative about a Lilliston. Uh, one is rocks and the second one is, is down pressure, okay? So we're trying to take care of the down pressure by adding airbags. Um, that's an option where we have uh, that on each row where you get that better penetration. So, 
Okay, so I'm going to switch this over. So to do that, we're going to swing this over to the opposite side. 